Okay, welcome. Accelerated Math Objective Means, Medians, and Modes of Data Sets. Uh, the three M words that have to do with statistics. And uh, mean is just a fancy way of saying average. Okay, so on average we're going to add them all up. So we're going to get the sum of all the numbers and divide by N, N being the number of values in the data set. Median, I'm driving down the road, what's in the middle? It's the median. The median is the value that's in the middle. Mode, I think of the word most, uh, and that's what mode is. It's the one that occurs the most. So pretty reasonably easy stuff. All right, um, to find the median, you kind of need to get these things in order, so I'm just going to rearrange them. 6, 8, 9, and let's see, 14. Sorry, 14, 16, looks like 19, 22, and a bunch of 26s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 26s. By the way, if I've got 4 26s, that should ring a bell on mode. So that's my mode. Okay, then to find the middle one, I'm basically counting these off. I got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 of them. So my middle value, I've, if I pick 6, you'll notice there are 5 numbers on this side and 5 numbers on that side. So that's my median. And then the mean, or average, I need to add them all up and divide by the number of values. Now I put these things into a calculator uh, like the one that we have, this uh, TI-30XS uh, multi-view. Let me drop it down here. And it's not, I can't use it on here, but I just want to show you that I entered all my values into this list feature. And the way I did that was with the data key. You hit data and then you can uh, put the values in a list. And so I put all those values in a list. When I was done, I hit second and data, which is really the stat function, and it brought up a list of things that I can choose from, and number two on the list in the calculator, number two says x bar equals, and it says 18. x bar is the statistical symbol for mean of the population. Okay, so that's x bar, and uh, so we've got, now watch the order on this. They will ask for mean, so we're looking for the one that starts with an 18, this one and this one. Then they went to median, and median we said was 19. So it's got to be this one over here, and I'll verify the 26 being the mode, so it's D. Okay, if you do not have one of these calculators, then you're stuck. You have to just take a calculator, add them all up. So you would just add up all these values and divide by the number of values that you had, which was 11. And that's not the end of the world. Just make sure that you add them all up first get that and then divide by 11. All right. Number of patients treated in a dental office each day was recorded for 10 days. Find the mean, the median, and the mode for this data. So they're putting it into a word problem, but it's basically 10 days. So we've got 10 values and we're going to do the same thing. Get them in order. Find the mode. Um, some of these things you might be able to pick out. Hey, look, the mode is 25 and the mode was the last one in the list. So it's not this one. It could be this one, it could be this one, it could be this one. Now let's go to the next thing that's the easiest to find. Uh, I guess it's getting them in order. Okay, did they put them in order? No. Okay, so 6, 15, 18, 21, 22, 24, 3 25s, 1 25, and a 29. All right, and there were 10 values, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, you know what? There's, if you look at the middle, there's no number there, so you have to take the two numbers that are in the middle and get an average of those, 22 plus 24 divided by 2. Most of us can look at that and kind of go, hey, the average of those is going to be 23, but if you need to do it mathematically, that's how you do it. So. Um, we're looking at the median 
right here of 23, so the average must be 21. Uh, but if I didn't know that, I would add all those up and divide by 10. All right. And last one. Put it into a word problem, but let's pick out what they're asking for. This guy was in charge of collecting contributions for the food bank. Ooh, nice guy. Good deed. Received contributions of $10, $10, 80, 50, and 90. All right, so we're only dealing with a few numbers. The next potential contributor wanted to give an amount in line with the other con contributions. So he asked, what's an acceptable amount to give? If Bob uses the median as the answer to the question, what amount will he tell the potential contributor? So median, of course, is, as we talked about the road, it's the number that's right down the middle. So we're just going to arrange these in order, 10, 10, 50, 80, whoops, 80, and 90. And we're going to pick the one in the middle, so it's $50. Woo, well, that was tough. All right, have fun, and hopefully you've got one of those calculators and using that list feature. Uh, that's what we're going to be doing on the test, but if you don't, you have to kind of do it a little bit harder way. See ya.